Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here in my kitchen, and I thought I would make a quick video for those of you that might be interested on how I make food for, how you make food for a very senior dog that might have special needs, which is where we're at with Missy. Now, I have some broth left over from a roast that I cooked. And I get my little ladle out. I'm gonna ladle out a little bit. Let me stir that up so we can get some of that good, good uh, stuff all the way through it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ladle out a little bit of this. Charlie, just calm yourself down. He's getting excited. He knows they're gonna be fed too. Even though you're not special needs, Charlie. You know, you might act like it some. Okay. So, I'm going to take this. You know, you can't really see it. There you go. And I'm going to nuke it for about 30 seconds. Just to warm it up a little bit. While that's doing that. You can use any kind of dog food you think your dog might do. This just happens to be some kibbles and bits. Um, not a paid sponsor. And I don't use very much because she doesn't eat very much. I have this little personal blender. And I just put probably about, oh, she's awake. She's, she's hungry. That's good. Coming out here. So I'm just going to put about a fourth of the can. Because she's not going to eat all this. She doesn't eat that much these days. But we got to get something in that tum tum. Now, she also takes a um, an aspirin every day for her arthritis. So I'm going to find the I have a pill crusher and I use my pill crusher. I got this off of Amazon if anybody's interested. Works really well. Go ahead and I'll crush. Oh, that's the wrong stuff. Pay attention, Teresa. It has aspirin, but it also has caffeine in it. Where is her aspirin? There it is. Way back here. Excuse me. <coughs> My hand has really been bothering me. So anyway, I'm going to put this in here and crush it. The reason I'm doing all this is she has trouble with her teeth. And um, so really everything has got to be soupy. So dump that in there. Go get the broth I warmed up. Hi, baby girl. How you doing, my mama? Huh? You're looking better. My friend Linda was so ingenious last night that she um, said, well, why don't you use a heating pad on her? That was so great. So anyway, I won't use all of that. I'll use the rest of it on the other dog. This is what it looks like. You know, and now I'm going to blend it up so it's just like a smoothie or a puree, something she can lap up very easily. Yep, like that. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so, this is what it's like. All when I know it doesn't look appealing but that doesn't really matter because she likes it and that's all that matters <gasps> come in mama and then i just and the reason i do this i know you can buy stuff but this is soupier you know and um it's cheaper 
and I know what's in it. And that makes me feel good. Come here, Mama. Come here. There you go. So that's what she's doing. Now, while, while I have you guys on here, I'll go ahead and show what I do for the other dogs. Because I have one dog who needs to take out my audit toys already. And that's Mixie. Is I cook a big pot of rice. And I use that. I use parts of it. Now, they get about half of what they normally get at night in the morning. This isn't morning, but for us it is. And, you know, I just kind of break it up. This is long green rice that we cook. Um, since this is all cold, I will nuke it all. You know. Let's see a little bit more. I'm going to cook more rice for him tonight. He goes through lots of rice. But that's okay. Now, I will use... I don't like to waste, so I will use the rest of what I uh, ground up for her. I'll just dump it in there, you know. No sense wasting it, and I didn't use all of her broth. I will use it, and then I will use, she's not eating it, I don't know if she's going to. I may have to take it out to the front room and sit with her. Sometimes that's what we have to do. So, put some broth in with their rice, and now I cook up, where is it? I cook up, usually once every two weeks, a big bag of the chicken hindquarters, and then I shred it, and I use the broth in it as well, and I freeze it, and why it's flat is when I freeze it, I, I lay it flat like that in an old ice cream bucket that you, is square. So, I will take just about a third of this and uh, put it in there. Um, this is the diet thing that's supposed to be good for dogs with a kidney stone or bladder stone problem. So, um, I do that. I used the rest of that tonight and we're gonna go nuke this for about a minute. Yeah, she's not eating, so we're going to have to rethink that. So, I'm going to do that for about a minute and get out her antibiotic. Might be up here. Nope. Now i got to find her antibiotic. Oh, where, oh, where, oh, where? There it is. Because I didn't put it back where it belongs. This is Nixie's antibiotics. She takes this twice a day. And they're all, the older dogs are all excited about their food. They know it's coming. They know. Mama, we're going to go sit out there and see if she might be so inclined out there. I know she's hungry, but we'll see. So I have the broth and all this other good stuff in here and I just mix it really well, you know. So they both get the chicken, the broth, the rice. It all looks like, let me see, like this. Oh. <laughs> and, um, you know, of course, Nixie doesn't get quite as much as Charlie. When they eat this twice a day, plus then they eat, um, if they're hungry, they eat the dry kibble that they have. So, just like in their bowls. Put Nixie's antibiotic in hers. I just shove it down in the rice, she'll eat it. 
So here, come here, Charlie. Come here, Nix. Nixie, come here. Come on, Nix. Nixie, come here. Nix. Nixie, you're gonna come here. Come on. Okay. Well, that's it. I'm going to put this stuff away and go see if Missy will eat. Love you guys. Bye.